What's going on today, guys? We have another great recipe for you. It is going to be nachos, and we got a bunch of different ways we can make them. Keto nachos. We have three options. There's a couple other options you can use too. You can use low carb tortillas for the nacho chips, which is what we're gonna use today, because this takes the most preparation, so we'll show you how to do that. The other ones are easy. You can just do pork rinds, or Mega made these the other day. It's actually pretty good. You can use bell pepper slices as the nachos. It's not bad. It's not great, but these are gonna be the best, the tortillas. Let's get those going to begin with. We're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so here I just have a baking sheet with a silicone mat there, and we got these mini tortillas. So almost every grocery store is gonna have carb-conscious tortillas. Mission, there's like La Baria is another one, I think. There's a lot of different ones. They're all gonna have gluten in them, though. That's the thing. These are still made with wheat flour, it just has some more fiber in it to make it like a lower carb tortilla overall. It's not your best option, but it is the tastiest. So each one of these tortillas, for example, is three net carbs, nine grams of fiber. Whereas normal tortillas, I don't even know if they have any fiber, very low fiber. And Mega says to use a pizza cutter for this, so that's what I'm gonna do. Very simple. Then we're just gonna lay these out on the baking sheet. Now, very important, you gotta spray these with some fat in order to get them to crisp up. So I like to just go with a nice heavy dosing. This is coconut oil, and then also some salt, and if you have it, some fresh lime juice is really good too. That's that, now let's pop these in the oven. And then next up, we're gonna cook our meat down and flavor it with some taco seasoning. But if you wanna be super lazy, you can use some pre-cooked chicken like this, and then you just basically don't have to do any cooking at all. It's really easy, you can make it as simple as you want. We're gonna do the ground beef today though. So let's get our skillet heating to a nice medium high. And we're gonna do just under a pound of ground beef total. And we have some seasonings here that are gonna make it taco flavor. So chili powder, the big one is cumin. That's what gives it like the signature taco seasoning type of flavor. Uh, some red pepper flakes, some garlic powder. You can put some other stuff in there too, some oregano and some black pepper. I actually like to get the pan as hot as possible before you get the meat in, just so you can get it nicely browned. Otherwise it just kind of gets like grayish, which we don't want. That's good. And we had a little bit of beef tallow in the pan, about a tablespoon. Okay, while this is cooking, we're gonna add our seasonings. So we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. We're gonna do one teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna do a little under a teaspoon of salt about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then some black pepper, and then lastly, some red pepper flakes. Optional if you like it a little bit spicier. And guys, as always, ketoconnect.net, that's where the full recipe is, all the ingredients, instructions. Check that out if you wanna make this recipe. Keep an eye on the tortillas too, they will burn pretty quick. So we're just gonna let this cook for about six to eight minutes. Some other great additions to this, you can use some red onion in with the ground beef. You can also put some freshly chopped garlic in with that, more fresh flavors. You can even put some peppers, bell peppers in with the ground beef if you want more cooked vegetables. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. This is pretty well cooked. And then you definitely want some amount of fresh toppings. You can do avocado, guacamole. I'm gonna do some tomatoes. You need some freshness to balance this out. And then I'm also gonna do some black olives. We're gonna drain the water out of these. Okay, and these are done. They're very crispy. That's what you're looking for. They need to be sturdy enough to hold up to the rest of the ingredients. These are like rock solid. So we're gonna be plating it up in this cast iron skillet for style. First off, you're gonna to wanna to lay down a little bed of tortilla chips. You can also do different things too. Like you can put some pork rinds in there. You can put some bell pepper chips in there. So just get these down, a nice bed. Then we're gonna come in with the ground beef. You should probably drain the fat if you don't want your chips to get soggy. We don't have a lot of fat on this though because the spices absorbed a lot of it. So plop that in there. Then we have some sharp cheddar cheese, which I like on nachos. You could also get a Mexican cheese blend. We're gonna top it with this and then let's see how well it melts. Is it gonna melt? What I'm gonna do just to take it to the next level, we're gonna pop this in the oven just real quick, just to melt the cheese. There it is, looks great. Cheese is pretty well melted. Now, you guys can get creative with the toppings, obviously. I'm gonna do olives. Olives are a really underrated nacho topping, so put those on there. And then some tomatoes. And what else you could do, top recommendations would definitely be guacamole or avocados. A lot of people like sour cream. I do not like sour cream. I would never put sour cream on nachos. This is the way I like it. That's fun. For like a Netflix night, maybe share one of these, perfect. So all that's left to do is give it a try. Oh, 
perfect. Homemade nachos. Homemade nachos taste a lot different than like nachos at the baseball game. These are great. The thing is the, the tortillas, they taste a little different from normal tortilla chips, but really delicious. They hold up to all the toppings. Like they're not soggy at all. You can see very crunchy, really good creative recipe to change it up. Cause a lot of people, me included, I just like stick to the same meals all the time. It gets boring. I didn't realize how boring it was getting until mega started making creative new recipes. So if you're looking for something creative, give these a try. You can use the pork rinds. You could use Quest chips for the base too, but really they're gonna be the best if you do the homemade tortilla chips. That's all there is to it guys. KetoConnect.net is where all the recipes are. Check out the website, browse through all the recipes, find something for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching.